So the first thing we're going to do is uh, spread our drop cloth over the floor and this will protect the carpet from the mess we're going to make a little later. And I'm going to grab two six foot tables uh, to give me a good surface to work from. I'm going to select the tools that I'm going to use. We won't use all of these tools but it's always nice to have uh, the extras. And let's not forget the safety glasses. The first step in our uprights is to pull uh, the assembly apart because we want to have the tubes, the inner tubes that we're going to be working on, uh, nice and even on the table. This will allow us to inspect the tubes together and decide which ones are usable and which ones we need to uh, cut off. For the uh, extremely damaged uprights, we're going to cut the damaged area off. So we're going to line the bottom of the uh, lowest point of the damage uh, to the uh, pipe cutter. They're going to gently turn the pipe cutter around to score it. And each time we bring it around, we're going to turn that knob about a quarter turn to increase the depth of the cut each time. This will give us a really clean cut finish on the top. Once we get the top cut off, we'll grab our deburring tool and just remove the burr from the inside of the pipe. And this will allow the crown to slip in easily. So here I'm going to uh, tap in my crown to make sure it's fully seated. And then I can compare how much uh, height I actually lost. So even though we cut off about three inches of uh, pipe, we only lose about a quarter inch of the uh, height of where the drape line will be. For the pipes that are uh, not so damaged and that can be repaired, we're going to use a uh, simple pipe expander. We're going to insert that into the tube. Tighten it up just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to expand the tube at all. Now we're going to take a small hammer and we're just going to hammer in all of the uh, uh, burrs and uh, shards that are sticking out from the damaged areas and basically re-round the pipe. Once we're satisfied with the uh, shape of the pipe and we've got all the uh, sharp edges down, then we can just file away any any burrs, um, any rough edges, anything of that nature to make it nice and smooth. We don't want anything getting caught up on this, especially our hands or the drape. Then simply remove the pipe expander and that one's ready to go. Now when inserting the crowns, we want to make sure that we line up the slot of the crown with the slot of the upright, if, if you've got slots still in your upright. If you don't have slots, it doesn't really matter. Now again, we're going to tap those crowns in to make sure that they're fully seated. And don't be afraid to use a little force here. This is a composite plastic is very tough. Now it's time to drill. And to place the drill, you want to come down the solid plastic uh, sidewall of the crown. And uh, you'll note that it's right between the sockets. This will also be right between the slots if, you're, if your pipes still have slots. So you're going to line the drill bit up with that solid pl plastic wall in between the slots there. And you want to come down about a half to three quarters of an inch. And that allows to drill right through the tab of plastic that's uh, seated on the inside of the pipe. We're going to drill one side, turn it 180 degrees, and drill the other in approximately the same spot. Now to insert our rivets. Now these pop rivets are 3 quarters of an inch long, and they're specifically made for composite plastic material. They're called a multi-grip rivet. So we place the rivet into the uh, rivet gun insert it into the hole, and then seat the rivet. Using a pneumatic riveter like this makes the job a snap. But we can use a manual rivet setter. Place the rivet in. Use the table as leverage. So put the bottom part of the handle on the table, and then just press down on the top part of the handle. Lift up so that the jaws open and reset. And this will take three or four times until the uh, rivet pops off. 
Now we're going to tackle the crossbars. So to get rid of the hooks, what we have to do is we have to drill out the existing rivet. So using a number 10 drill bit, we're going to drill right down the middle of the rivet head, and that's going to pop the rivet head off. Now we do want to drill down through into the uh, the pipe there so that we uh, get rid of any of the rivet that's left over holding it onto the hook. Using this claw hammer, we can put the hook in between the claw and give it a twist and a pull, and it pops right out. It's a very easy way to do it. Now to line up our ball caps with the existing hole. The small ball cap has three rows of cavities. You want to uh, line up the center row of the cavities with the existing hole in the, in the crossbar. And just press it in. And again, you, you can use a lot of force here. These composite ball caps are very tough. So just tap it in until it's fully seated. And as long as that center row of cavities is lined up with the uh, existing rivet hole that you drilled out, you'll be in good shape. For the large end, we have five rows of cavities. Again, you want to line up the center row with the existing rivet hole. And again, just tap those in until they're fully seated. Now, on some uh, pipes, it'll be a little harder to tap in. We've made these uh, ball caps so that they fit a variety of pipes. And if you see a little bit of plastic shearing off on the edges, that's perfectly normal. So now we're going to use the existing rivet hole, and we're going to take that number 10 drill bit and drill through the center wall of the ball cap. And this is a heavy plastic wall. And that'll give us a place to place our one inch multi-grip rivets. Once those are placed, make sure that the rivet is fully inserted and use your rivet gun to seat the rivet. You can use a manual riveter for this operation as well. Once this is completed, it's time to clean up the mess. Now you see why we use a drop cloth. The hotel will really appreciate the fact that you can just simply fold up the drop cloth and carry the mess away.